I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half, 
Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. 
You could have held him until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondent! Well, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you.
should make sure the village is safe. Radun hagedun. Za shewe next ji ohnu jera. Wak kanu dunyu we do got ti ko oya rungwe aye zene sege. Un ka gi ka oya rungwe. De ohne guje Charles Lee. Luana tu ko ya sagoya tanhawe kanu dogu dano do kala ni hadi. Na hoda ka nu we ni hone nu. Wak de sagodi dashtana ji ni hadi ayun ki yun hunda. Ya, ya te tkari hua yeri. Ona jera di deza ni gu hare. Ya kon ta deza du hundoni ne giga ne aya gua derio. Ona ti aschaga ne te don zo hunda ke daste. ドナゲートのスコセタネコナホダクエゴモハクロリネチャールズリーバトリオトデホナドホンゾニアンキアワントドノガンイーゼアセイエノワゼアトガティガロンゴエワハンロジディザニゴラデニュンジアサデニアン
ओनो How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culper Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must be done without my soldiers' knowledge. The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again.
What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. Hmm. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. Good. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You haven't a lot. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. He's supposed to be on that ship! I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate, I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. All right, all right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done, capturing the traitor. But I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed.
Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be... unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. Sir! Sir! Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. That's far enough for you two. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre.
Halt! Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you pass. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. Connor, finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I am a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! Stand tall, men! We're holding! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I... Arnold retreated to the vault now! We must hold the fort. Vulture. 
We must hold the fort. Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure. Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? If Patriot heroes are betraying us, you reap what you sow. We must hold this position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through. Connor, my friend, you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Push these 
red coats back yet? Ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. <laughs> 